Uh, this week's Patreon shout out goes to Momo. Oh, my Momo. Because... Momo. Yeah. Momo? Momo. Because Momo. everyone likes Momo. Momo was the oh, character in Breath of Fire 3, but. You know, Momo was about. a character in Doctor Sleep. Mo, 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 Mo. You sound like a Shanti. <laughs> <laughs> so does Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Thank you for supporting us. It really means a lot. Welcome to the Horror Hour. We all go a little mad. Oh, you are Hello, and welcome to this week's Horror Hour. Uh, I'm one of your hosts, Liam. Hello. And joining me today, I have Yutaka. Hello. And I have the delightful duo themselves, all on one screen. It's Nick and David. Hey, and oh, sorry. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, guys, it's George Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely our first time watching a movie. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. You are a <laughs> bee. This is on the main channel, you. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Well, how are you? I'm doing great. I feel sexy. I feel tight. My punaner's here. You know, I'm great. Oh, Good time, no. Nick. I feel real nice. Oh shit! I dropped my syringe. Wait, hold up. Wait. Oh, okay. gotcha. Look. Quick. Be careful. Right, it's whack, kids. <laughs> Uh, today's episode is all about sci-fi because we all like a bit of sci-fi. My favorite. So, yes, we are going to be picking our best from the sci-fi horror genre. And to start us off, I think we should go to David since he is clearly such a fan of the genre. Well, the one that first I think about is Slither, which is like <gasps> the most oh, disgusting yeah. movie I've ever seen. Like that, I remember watching that movie, and there was the scene in the barn. Oh no, wait, the scene in the barn, but also the scene in the bathtub. I remember just like because I remember I rented it, and I was like, "What? It, the poster looked this, like disgusting." The bathtub like, is on the poster, right? Right. There's just like oh, they're all like squirming and like getting to her and all that stuff, and she's just like, "Oh my god, I'm so sexy and all that stuff." And it's just like when he oh, right, and man. also yeah, the whole movie is just disgusting because when he injects her with the thing, when he when he opens his chest. And he has the whole, and it's just like pumping her with all the seed and all that stuff, and that wide load, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, just nut. She wanted that truffle butter. Um, yeah, and it's just like it was just so disgusting. The whole movie is disgusting. I, but it's so like you can't look away because the visuals are so like amazing. Like that whole yeah. scene, like with her, just like oh, when she's just like all chubby. Like, oh my god, I love that, and she, it's just like she's about to pop. It is the same. Gusting, and I, I wish I like I was there like when they were making it like behind the scenes like just like the process of making it. Was that. Practical, wasn't it? Wasn't that one it, of the? If it wasn't, I'm like points. props to them. But like it looked pra practical effects. Like it looks so good. And when he's like when he's in, in his full form and he's just like flapping around, wet, just like glossy and shit. Oh, mm -mm. Me out the yes. bath. It's such a fun, like a fun movie, but it's disgusting. <laughs> I don't, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I've ever seen Slither. Like, I've definitely seen, like, I know the poster and I know, like, what the movie is, but I don't know that I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't know if I've ever seen, it's who's got, in what, that? Nathan Fillion, um, um, Elizabeth Banks, Michael Nathan Rooker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, like, it's I knew the that James Elizabeth Banks was in it, but I didn't know. I don't know if I've ever seen that. It's so good. Oh, my God. It's, the, it's like, such a fun movie. Well, thank you for letting us know about it. You sound so enthusiastic. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Nick, since you're being such a pessimist, honey, all that, um, yeah. would you like to give us your pick and see if it's any better? Um, my first pick. pick. Wait, is this yes. the one you said it's like the best movie? I love this movie. And okay. if y'all don't agree, y'all can lick my ass before I wipe. Um, the mo my, my first pick... <sighs> Disgusting. So my first pick wet. is the movie Upgrade. Oh, god damn you. That is a very good movie. It's so good. It. So it's with uh, <laughs> Logan Marshall Green and the... The, Tom, the skinny Tom Hardy, as some would say. Right. 
And the non-spoilery oh, yeah. plot um, is he is it, it takes it's like kind of in the future, but not like too far in the future. But he gets into a car accident and he lo he loses his ability to like walk or whatever. And he gets a microchip put into on his spine that gives him the ability to walk again. But it has an A.I in the microchip so he can hear the ai talking to him in his head but as the movie progresses you realize that the ai is like you know evil oh. <laughs> um but it's oh it is so, with all AI. so is it like chat gpt gone on steroids what is chat or eventually GPT? isn't chat is that the ai thing that people keep talking to mm -hmm. when they're lonely yes yes wait what um wait why are you um, looking at david no, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm Mr. So lonely. lonely. I, I have, have nobody to call my home. Ah. Um, great special effects, great yes. camera work. The camera mm -hmm. work in that movie is crazy good. Um, and I think that they wanted to adapt it, like make a sequel to it as a TV show, but I don't know what the status is on that. But it's really, really I good. Like I would recommend that. I've never seen that. Mm -hmm. we'll have that to was it. Lee Wan L. It was Lee Wanell. Mm -hmm. like oh, the was Saws it? And mm -hmm. the gotcha. Conjuring. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, yes. Yutaka, your pick, darling. Well, since you mentioned, mentioned Lee Wanell and somewhat in the vein of Saw, have you guys ever heard the movie Cube? No. Yeah. Oh, yes. No. Isn't there like three of those? Oh. Yes. Uh, second one, not so good because it was like, uh, felt like a direct to sci fi video um, or sci fi channel movie. And then the third one has much better story. But I mean, just the original, I remember when that came out because it was very unique and it was very claustrophobic. But I loved all the different traps and them trying to like get like through this alive thinking they could one either escape, but still somewhat trying to double cross each other because, oh yeah, that looks safe. And like pushing, you know, probably push somebody through, see what happens. You know, like mm -hmm. if we were all trapped, I'm sure I would get tripped. George would be pushed. Liam would get stuck. And... And Yutaka would just roll underneath it because he's that short. He wouldn't need to do anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. The booster chair. Um... Yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to picture us in like a like in an actual escape room movie, like not like people are dropping off like flies and shit. Like who would be like the first one gone? Who's good at puzzles? Like escape room really, counts as really. You tag really you tag would be the first one gone. Oh no! Uh 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 uh. Like let's follow no. the movie. Like if the first scene, like if the fire, like who do you th like? You I, No. Oh shit! Right. I'm absolutely not. One. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't even go to any type of those events. Uh-uh. No. Uh -uh. I'm not ten thousand dollars on the line, like a good like no, ten thousand. That's it. Yeah. Well, you don't know that you're gonna be exposed to those like situations. Like you just think it's like, oh my god, yeah. an escape room it's for ten thousand dollars, and then you look get if I'm shit. gonna do anything like that, it's gonna be show up to a Mr. Beast video where he's at least gonna give you hundreds of thousands of dollars, not ten thousand yeah. dollars. I think Okay. George would be in trouble. So the cube, I, I really like. It. I think it came out in the late '90s. It was pretty, pretty impressive for when it came out. I love the the whole okay. set, like the environment of that whole, like it's like hot, like it just feels like it just be uncomfortable, hot, like warm and. All. Huh. Um. Oh. He's off on one again. Um. So I'm gonna go with my pick then, and that is uh, 2001's Ghosts of Mars. <laughs> oh, is that John that. Carpenter? It is. It is. That's one of them. That's one of the few I haven't seen. I've never seen that one. It is terrible. It is so early two thousands that it's ridiculous. Like how, like it's it's not shot. It's not really shot well. The editing is terrible. The acting is awful across the board. However, however, it is so cheesy in camp mm. that I can't help but just love it. It's just so bad. That so it's amazing. the Madam Web of John Carpenter films. It is the Madam Web of John Carpenter films, yes. Mm. Um, so ridiculously bad across the board that it makes it very camp. The poster has like some guy with like paint on his face at the top, right? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. one of the ghosts of Mars, yes. So it's got um, Natasha Hensridge. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh. Yeah. I assume that was um, the one that ice, somebody talked about. Ice Cube. 
Jason Statham. Right. Oh my god, hair. I forgot Jason Statham. Oh, and he has hair. Him bald though, it's like weird. there's something about it. I, yeah. oof. What does he look like? It also you know, has our lesbian icon, Clea Duvall. Oh, bald. Bald is the way to go. Who? Clea Duvall. Oh, Clea Duvall. yes. Happy yes. season, you know. Yes. I know her from V. Yeah. That's right. Like before I watched. Oh my god, V is so good. <laughs> and it has Pam Greer as well. <gasps> we love some Pam Greer. Oh. Then you're not going to enjoy this. She is there very quickly. Um, <laughs> she said, I'm here to collect a check. Yeah. Um, so it's literally, it starts off in this like weird dystopian version of Mars where like humans are like living on Mars now. Um, and Natasha Hensridge wakes up on a train, handcuffed, and is like taken to the council of the Mars police where she's got to like tell them what happened and how she ended up there. So it's like flashbacks from her telling the story. And it's so stupid. It's they're on a prisoner transport to co go and collect Ice Cube because he's a, a, a villain on Mars. Well, he's um, well, yeah, exactly. It's too hard for him. Um, so, and then like ghosts that, of <laughs> Mars somehow <laughs> break out and start taking over people's bodies and craziness ensues from there. This sounds great. So, honestly, I'm it's, oh, you would love it. It is. Did he do the, the score on that camp. one too? Because I think that might have been the one I, positive. I can't remember. I believe he did, yes. Have you ever seen um, John Carpenter's Vampires? Yes. With bon John Bon Jovi, you know how they instead of staking them in the heart, they throw like twenty stakes in them and then still pull them out <laughs> into the sunlight. Yes. Um, yeah, it's not a good movie from memory, but I remember <laughs> liking it. But that was so that was hilarious. No, like, I haven't seen that. But Ghost of Mars come just after that. Oh, okay. We have to watch that gay movie tonight. Oh yeah, it's over here. Oh, oh, that all of us are movie. strangers. Yeah. Uh, oh God. Oh no, I don't like that face. Have tissues. <laughs> oh, f my favorite. Oh, Jesus Christ. Great, well, thank you for that pick, Liam. Again. Thank you, uh, David. Well, we have your well, next pick, please. Well, 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 mine is one well. that I've been obsessed with for a minute, and it's not horror, but it's Men in Black Two. It's like my, it's one of my favorite. I don't, it's such. A... Why don't we just change the name to The Hour? <laughs> because it's such a fun movie. <laughs> the Hour. We don't even go for an hour. Let's not start that. <laughs> Listen, it's sci-fi and it's a fun movie. First Wait, of all. Wait, are you being serious about Men in Black 2? Yes. It's like, I'm obsessed with that movie. It's David. It's, I'm obsessed with that movie. And first of all, okay. Selena, Selena, and it's like, she stole the show. No, I've have, I've yet. Um, Boyle, what? uh, uh, what's her name? Boyle, Lara Boyle, Flynn Boyle, Lara Flynn Boyle. I, I like Selena. Oh, okay. Well, that's her name. In the I was like, wasn't Selena, Selena already Bowman? dead by then? <laughs> and that's coming out next year, I think, or something like that. Yolanda Saldivar. But yeah, I just think I genuinely like think that the villain is like the so good. And I, I don't know, I like the whole visual of it. Like, it's just more fun, it's more entertaining than the first one. And also, just the visual of her with the fingers just like wrapping oh, finger as a that, kid. Oh, like in the trailer when they're like coming out and she's just Well, like, she just does this and it freaked me out because I was like, I don't like long stuff just like out, flapping around and all that stuff. I don't like that. And like when when the dog is hiding in like the tentacles <laughs> of the... Never said. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm not a size queen. <laughs> but um, yeah, like the visual, a lot of the visuals that like, creep me out as a kid, like when the dog is like hiding in the tentacles, like the dead tentacles, like in the waiting, like hiding oh, from Selena yeah. and all that stuff. Like there were certain visuals that creeped me out as a kid that weren't necessarily horror, but they were like creepy as a kid. I just don't like wet long things. I just don't like wet long things. I just don't like wet long things. It creeps me out. Like I don't. It just really freaks me out. I don't know why. <laughs> you see, y'all are taking it there because I am genuinely just having a nice conversation <laughs> about my love for Men in Black Twin. How I think is a great movie. You know, I will say that I think. Like I, I don't really remember too? a lot of. This I'm sorry. Stuff. What? What? The, excuse me. Things men in black. Men in but not blacked. Not. No. 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 Get no, out no. here. Get blacked every night. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody <laughs> banned him. Is there a way to block him? Did just from your chat? Um, <laughs> I don't really remember. Like I remember her being in the second one. I don't remember a lot of the second one, but I do remember being when I was a kid, 
being afraid of the guy in the first one that gets like taken over by the bug monster. Oh, from criminal specifically yeah. that, the scene mm -hmm. where he's like, and he pulls his skin back, and I was like, Whoa! Oh, that from, was what's that so cop good. show? Was, what's Isn't that cop that Vincent show? Uh, yes, there intent. we go. Which I used to be, have a big crush on growing up. Growing up. Mm -hmm. Forbid yeah. about him because I know Born like he plays Eames. Kingpin. Oh yeah, but he, was, he yeah, but he was in Rings. Ooh. And his performance was so f***ing bad. Oh. Like, because I always, like, I know that he's a very popular actor. Yeah, he was in, uh, in not Insidious, uh, what's the other one, the, the lawnmower Cell? scene. Oh, uh, the lawnmower oh, scene. Oh, Sinister. Sinister, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't like his performance that. Although, he was in, oh my God, he was in The Cell with Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. He was. He I was, was just, I was movie. waiting for him. But he also, he, he was very good in The Cell. He was really good in that show about cops, that he was the cop, um... Not criminal minds, uh, uh, criminal intent. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that was yeah, the show. Yeah, Law and Order. Yeah, criminal yeah. intent. Yeah, yeah. Where was you like... My husband is in Law and Order, the main one right now. Mm -hmm. Which one? Will Graham. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but okay. President you... Fitz, it's about to show up next week. I'm excited. Mm. I did like um, Nicole Scherzinger's scene in Men in Black Three. She looked very hot. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Isn't there another Men in Black? With, there's, th there's three with Chris Hemsworth and the other one and uh oh, oh, but that's, that's, not, Men Black that's in, not like Men in Black International. I, I actually like liked that, that one and a lot. I of enjoyed did it. Not. Yeah, I I had fun with. I that. enjoyed Tessa Thompson. I thought Tessa Thompson was really really funny. You, you know, it's another movie that people fucking hated. I think we were talking about this the other day that I loved the all female Ghostbusters. I fucking loved that movie. That movie I, was so I, funny. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get no, that. I'm with um, you obnoxious hate over it especially because it it's was still different. somewhat successful by the way like mm -hmm. people were because men oh, hate women yeah it's just you know they're like women and their weak arms and i'm like this is some bullshit but i like that movie a lot and i, I thought, thought that chris funny, hemsworth's character was funny as f in that movie get back Agreed. in the kitchen and birth babies are you kane anywho but yes <laughs> okay. i just think that is a fun movie and for people that don't like horror that watch this men in black 2 is a great fun time you know we have family members that watch with their kids they do. Not so he's you know, he one for you kids. <laughs> <laughs> sure Nicholas, my right. darling dear. Oh, like right here. It's like, what's wrong with it? I don't know. It's like tight. I'll hit Mr. with the gun afterwards. Yeah. Oh, with the gun. Or oh, the oh, massage gun. Yeah. The massage gun. The vibrator. Nicholas, your pick, darling. Um, my second pick is the movie Circle. Oh my god! Isn't it so I good? Hate you. Oh, I reacted, you were gonna pick that. I reacted to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The plot of Circle is so good. Is this um, the one with Emma Watson? No, no. Is is oh okay. anyway. So it's like there's like I don't know like it's, thirty people and they circle. wake up in a circle and they're like standing and they're all like in a circle. But and they're the, like but the exterior to... is like pitch black that you can't see beyond the last person in the row because because it's like circles. It's like there's one the one layer of people, one layer of people, one layer of people, and beyond that is just pitch black. And it's just a red, they're standing on a red circle that beeps, like that zaps whenever somebody gets jacked off. Oh my God, uh, killed off, sorry. Um, let me let me yeah. find a plot synopsis here. Sean <laughs> so, Cody circle? Like what's going on here? Well, Sean Cody. Well. Rough club, thank you very much. Mm. Uh, held captive and faced with their imminent executions, 50 strangers are forced to choose the one person among them who deserves to die. So each round, they have to discuss with each other who there they think deserves to die next. And they have no idea how they got into this circle. They have no idea who's running it. They think I think they think it's like the government. Right. And you don't find out until the very last scene as they actually show you like where they are and they're in a spaceship and they like all the people there's a ton of spaceships. Right. 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 Um, my, the, my favorite part is when they get down to like people that are either like really old or pregnant or kids. That's the one that I'm like, Whoa. yeah, they, they just, they go over like it's, it basically shows you how shitty people are. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but there's like, there's just a lot this, of like, let's watch this channel. It's really, really good. And it, it, there's a couple people in there that are like recognizable. Oh, Darla is in there from Buffy. Oh, but shit. Right. She was pregnant. Like, she was fake pregnant. Yeah. That was funny. It's really, really good, though. It's, uh, it, yeah. And it's, it's a, really a quick good. movie. Like, it's like an hour 20, like probably an hour 30 or something. Like that, most or something. Oh, that's why you reacted to it then. An hour, an hour 27. 27. Oh, my God. That's like my, oh, I could not. Um, yeah. It's like my, yeah. It's so good. It's like fun. Like, not fun, but like everything moves quickly. So, you know. First, it was scary. And then it was fun. <laughs> And then it was scary again. <laughs> oh my god, I love that character so much. She's the only good thing about that show. 
Whatever. Uh, like how, has Dave, uh, have you gotten up to that yet? No, I've, he only showed me like uh, that that episode of her. The, like just yeah, the only the only series that we've gotten to through is uh, Wandavision. Um, Monica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you guys later. Um, there is oh. um, what's the next one that we we could uh, watch? We could watch. Um, oh, we have to go through the Andrew Garfield Spider Man movies because then after that, then he can watch No Way Home. Uh, uh, that's yeah. fair. But I'm like trying to avoid. Like we eventually have to get through Falcon and the Winter more. Soldier. But I'm like, oh god. I really enjoyed Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and I don't understand the hate. It was a fun, politically driven spy action series and i enjoyed it do we watch the same show clearly i, I just that. understood things more no I my issue that. was like because it was the first time that we have seen those characters where it was not directed by the russo brothers mm -hmm. um they didn't feel like the same characters to me especially the fight sequences were so subpar compared to like think of like that uh the bridge scene in falcon mm -hmm. or in uh, the winter soldier where it's like super quick hand to hand combat. I was, oh no, this is some bullshit in Falcon Winter Soldier. But you know, I like Bucky. So Cap should have given the shield to Bucky. No, he should have given it to the person that got it in the comics, which is what they did. Well, this is this is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to watch the show and you're going to go, why the f did he, if he's fighting big super powered villains, why did he give the shield to a person who does not have the super soldiers serum? Because oh. in reality, in any other movie, he would have got demolished like that. I love me some Sam Wilson, but he should have taken the Super Soldier Serum. Just there. Wilson! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, anyway. He so, didn't just need to. You tag her, darling. What's your next pick? I was excited <laughs> to hear that. Uh, you know, since uh, David introduced Men in Black as one, I'll, 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 I'll venture a little outside, too. Have fun! <laughs> because, okay... It made me think of when I'm um, watching some sci-fi films when I was a kid. Do you guys remember it was a Disney movie, but it was called Flight of the Navigator? Yeah. Wait, that sounds really familiar. That I'm sorry, but when um, the... The one in I, the boy goes into the spaceship. Yeah, but when the yeah. spaceship or whatever the... I forgot the entity's name. Gets like real Ooh. evil. Like it was creepy as oh, hell. Goodness. It had I'm a young, scared. what, Carrie oh, Bradshaw? Miss Sarah Jessica Parker. I like the car, I love her. Oh, I it love was, the poster. It was an interesting film. I quite enjoyed it. It was, you know, definitely uh, more of a sci-fi adventure. But like when things started to take a nasty turn, um, it was kind of freaky if you were a kid and you were watching it's it. It's been it's that, that many years since I've seen it. I can't remember if it ever took a bad turn. Police again. Uh, is that, how, is that the guy from the Halloween starts 2? starts to freak out and the robot like starts to get like somebody's hacked him in oh, a God. sense. And so instead of like the happy go lucky, he starts to just go nuts and crazy. And then of course you've got the whole thing where like people don't remember who he is. Hmm. I've, 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 I've heard of that movie, but I've never seen it. I've it's seen it when I was a child, but I've never like rewatched it as an adult. Yeah, I can't say as an adult I've rewatched it, but I mean when I was a kid, there were certain scenes that freaked me out. So, but I enjoyed it. I mean, look, we introduced the Men in Black too. I don't think we'll ever get to no, talk I'm about not, I'm not, I'm Fly of the Navigator on this channel. And it's actually a really good film. I mean, you had Sarah Jessica Parker before she was Sarah Jessica Parker. So that was interesting. Who is this donkey next to you? And why is it wearing a dress? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Sarah Jessica Parker. She has a face like a foot. <laughs> um. Megan, what's with the long face? Hold on. Sarah Jessica Parker is calling me. Uh. <laughs> 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 ooh. Uh, when we uh, get that Sarah Jessica I Parker interview and her ages go back on the videos, ooh. Uh, Do you remember that movie? You talk, you might have seen this. Do you remember the movie? I think it was like either late eighties or early nineties, and it's like a sci-fi kids movie, like family friendly movie, where like an alien comes down, and he's like a suit, and the kid can get inside the alien and be like a superhero. Oh, it's not Guyver, uh, but it's something similar to it. I know what you're talking. It's Star Kid. Star Kid. Yes, that movie is so. Oh, let me show you. Star Kid is so yeah. good. Like the alien is a suit, and he could get into the suit and like fight. And it's it's so fun. It's I've, so fun. 
I've seen Luck of the Irish. I, I it's it's the movie. little kid the, from Jurassic Park. Oh shit! Yeah. I went to the I cinema. I love the poster though. Oh yeah, it's so fun. Yeah, I love that. My next one is going to be Starship Troopers. Oh, mm, I do love. I that one. I love that one a lot. Fucking love Starship Troopers. It is still to this day a travesty that no one understood that Starship Troopers was taking the piss out of, commu- of like communism and all that stuff it wasn't endorsing it which is what everyone at the time thought it was doing when this came out i, I seen it like i didn't go to the cinema because i was only like seven um but i seen it like a few years later on late night tv um and i remember shitting myself at them bogs they were scary as fuck. that one um, with like the that like uh, sucks uh, your brain uh, out <laughs> Oh, David with any man. Um... <laughs> oh, we shouldn't have done that. You know who fucking edits these videos? We're never gonna live that. Uh-huh. It's like that, that um... game of like a bachelor party game. Is like the the dick. It's like you have to jerk it off, and they're like, what? and it's like squirts out uh, who wins the. Yeah, no, yeah, what yeah. is the thing that you, you were saying with the lipstick on each side? Oh, the chapstick time is like you just close your eyes, put on a chapstick, and make out, and he has to guess like what's. No, the... you were talking about like going down. Where there was like all oh, the rainbow parties when they go and they like put on different lipstick and whoever can go the deepest like a different like lipstick colors and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this was oh, once a reputable God. show. I don't know what the f- happened. I don't know. It was the after hell you know, ever. Yeah, I think it was after. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Yes, Slashy Troopers. It's funny. Uh, it was ahead of its time. It's it sexual. Has- very, it was very sexual. The Casper Van Dien and um, um Dean, Denise yeah? Richards, no, oh, Dean, yes, Dean, Denise, oh, Dina yeah. Meyer, Dina Meyer, the mm-hmm. sex scene from them too. Oh, god, that was sexy, obviously. And it was before we when we could see Denise Richards again. Um, obviously, <laughs> now we'll never see Denise Richards again. Why? There's a quote, from, oh, I don't know. Nick. Why? So there's a quote from the show culture. from Housewives, Beverly Housewives, and there's like, I wouldn't be surprised if we never saw Denise Richards ever again. Oh. And, and <laughs> I, I want to see her. I love her. Such oh a my god. Um, <laughs> I actually have it on my work's laptop. Shut the f- up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I love being gay. It's like my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Oh god, that was sexy. I've also got a Trixie Mattel Mattel tweet. Mattel? Wait, wait, Mattel. Trixie Mattel. Uh, Trixie Mattel tweet, just saying, literally, what are straight people even doing? Literally. (laughs) And I just, I just walk around the office proudly presenting my laptop, like, love that, love that. I love Um, that journey for you. (laughs) So, um, yes, it's great. Lots of aliens getting shot and shit. Um, People and getting cut in half side. and yeah, like all the blood. It's great. I really do like. I mean, it's a really good film. It's nasty and like those bugs are. They did a good job with the VFX on it. Considering it was nineteen ninety seven, like mm-hmm. that bugs are excellent. And I can only imagine that the sequels got worse special effects. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. terrible. Because then they're like four or five watched, now. Never mm-hmm. watched the sequels. Um, <laughs> Only watch the first one. Right? No. That's it's fine. Right. It's just like I still have some oh, other hard, I'm... like I jerked off right in the nut, like got stuck in my eyelashes. So, wait. Well, it happens. So oh, dear right. David, do you have another one, darling? So let me ask the judges. Would men be considered sci-fi? No. Or is it just, no. would they be considered under fucking weird? Weird. Well, okay, that's weird. body that's horror, that's so. so. That's body horror, yeah, you're right. Never mind, yeah. never mind. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because when he was giving I mean, birth, that's, oh, blah, stop, the, I, stop. I, I don't want to revisit it. The, yeah, it was nothing of this world. That's it. why I had to ask the judges. Well, <laughs> well your reaction was <laughs> Um, I don't know. Uh, should, I, should I just be obvious at this point? I just mentioned the one just that be I obvious. Just be obvious. Oh, Sorry. Jason takes Manhattan. No, right, I mean, he's the song. Because <laughs> you're from New York. Right. 96th Street, okay. Um, yeah, Street. I just genuinely... <laughs> just, Sorry. Jason X is a masterpiece because also 
I mean, honestly, the whole visuals of the outside, like of them, like transporting, like everything, like the visuals of the set, like everything, it was just fun. Like I just think it's a great movie. I think also love the design of the spaceship. Like I just love, I just so much fun. Like the when they're running, like my favorite scene is when they when Jason breaks into the main where there's where they're hiding, and then where he the scene where he's like he just brought his machete back, and then just them running out and looking at the whole layout of everything. I love that so much. Like the little things that tickle me, which is like the design, or when like um thing gets stabbed from to the like when he's, when Jason um Jason has him, uh like and he stabs him from the back and all that stuff, like the whole scene, like the darkness of that. I love that. And then the chains hanging out. It, it, the rooms were like the spaces were so much fun to watch. It's so much fun. There's David and Jay. Oh, wait, oh, oh, can we get it clear? Can we? Let's see. Oh, there hey! we go. oh, look at them both with their guns out too. Uh, right, that was uh, that was like show. the highlight. Like that was when he was you know just trying not to flirt. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, right. I'm not gonna lie. Meeting Elvira was great, but there was a part of me where I was like literally, I was, I was so happy that I was just like trying to contain myself because I'm like I grew up watching this movie on repeat, and I don't exaggerate. Like it would be every weekend, I would get like Jason X, and my mom would be like, "That's what he likes." That's okay. musty TV. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna watch. But yeah, he wants to watch. it's a beautiful. It's a it's a great movie. The whole game, the scene with the game, the VR scene, and all that stuff, and then he comes and breaks their necks. And oh my god, oh, oh. it's fun. People don't like fun anymore. Yeah, they don't. People want serious. People want serious. Look at David. Yeah. No fun. Um, but yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. We all love and appreciate. I was gonna mention Mars Attacks, and, and but I also a, haven't seen that one in a, in a long time because I love Mars Attacks. But I also, like, yeah. Oh my god! Another Sarah Jessica Parker. Just. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's so good. That was actually gonna it's be. So that was actually gonna be my next pick. Um, but... If I look like George's type, I would have. I would have like dressed up as a, like a Halloween like a long time ago because it's just like the aesthetic is so much fun like to look at. Mm. I love the lady. The lady. Oh, she is when you like just pussy, just cinched, big hair. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! She scared the <laughs> f of me. I was in awe when I first saw. I was like, this woman is beautiful. Yeah, she was scary. No, to I was me. to me. I was like, this woman is beautiful. Because it was like, uh, like I told you, it was like Uncanny Valley. Mm. I was like, obviously it's a person, yes. but it's not a person. I don't like it. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Oh, yeah. us. And then Tom Jones saving the day by singing. A person that I oh my god! Yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> I love it. It's not unusual. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's so love That's it, great. love it, love it. Such a fun movie. Oh. Oh. Nick, darling, do you have another pick for us? Sure. There's I'm... a place for us. Somewhere. I yes. will go with a movie that is very controversial and very twisted and i love it splice i love oh, splice. Wow. splice is have you seen controversial that? I, I love that movie i thought everybody liked it. it was a consensual consensus that it was a great movie the consensus uh, is that it was a great movie but the consensual was not because he liked his daughter yes and <laughs> We're not talking about you and your dad. Well, no, my <laughs> uncle was the one that he me, but I he was in the puppy costume. No, but he it's funny because he was in the puppy costume. So when I was smothering him, like I didn't know that it was him though. So wait, is this the story that you told me where you were in the bathroom stall and you were in the middle stall and there was a hole on each side and you said your uncle was in one hole and your oh, and went, then your no, dad no, no, was no, in no, the no. other but hole. My grandma, no, and no, you were no, like no, no. one in each end, bring a mother friend. No, no, no. But it was my grandma because she got the dick not installed. Any you know, of because she was Don't be like, I give up. So she got the dick installed, but she didn't know her hormones weren't active, right? So she, I didn't. The voice was a little weird. I'm anticipating years in the future. The opening of your story is going to be like, oh, Paramount Pictures would like to thank the families. <laughs> <laughs> no, something is going to come. I'm going to get a brand deal from somebody. They're going to be like, um, you know what? Never mind. We just saw your cum guzzling stories and all that stuff. And I'm just like, no, that was Nick. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Nick but yeah, Splice, Splice, is, it Splice good? is, I I really, really like that movie. I think that's a really good sci-fi movie. And I think it's a... Um, it's been a couple years since I've watched it, but it, it kind of is a movie that makes you think um, about uh, the concept of like you create something. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's almost like slightly like a abortion-y 
like uh, it gets into that like you know like you create it like uh, and like test that. two babies and stuff message. like that oh, where it's like okay. is the, it, you know this is something you create in a lab does this count as like a thing like a living thing that you should not touch and okay. so, so if I, as, or, as you was the meaning of men what the f did i watch what i don't know okay. i still don't know do we can, can we get an interview or something I still or don't is know. that too late or what i'm confused just to ask a simple question mm -hmm. it's like mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I just want to, just um, him like, oh, th thank you for, you know, we get them on and all that stuff. And we're just like, you know, we have the director and all that stuff and the writer. So, what the fuck? Yeah, that's all. That's all I got. <laughs> like, what drugs were you on? What was, <laughs> right. what, what was the dose? Right. right. Um, but Spice, <laughs> Spice is, who's the, who's the girl? Not the, not the monster. Who's the wife? Uh, uh, it, Sarah Polly. Adrian uh, Brody. Who? Sarah Polly. Yeah. Sarah Polly. Sarah Polly. I do not, yeah, I don't know that From Dawn of the Dead. Name. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's the one that's got the really awesome. Oh, she's in the opening scene of Dawn of the Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the bathroom. I mean, she's oh, in the that. entire movie of Dawn of the Dead, but well, yes. Well, yeah, but like but that, opening that opening scene like, is like the most yeah. iconic part of that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's a really good movie. It makes you think. It kind of grosses you out a little bit. It kind of makes you a little. Um, gives you the little dribble, dribble. And um, is yeah, that because of Adrian Brody's nose? Absolutely not. And not Adrian Brody. Uh, do you not like a not. distinguished nose? I like a big nose. I think it depends on, on like the a big, nose. I like a big nose. Like a like strong nose. I like a nice strong nose. But like yeah, how like, I like how, a strong how, nose. If like as long as you can get to the the mouth, then I'm good with it. Well, like as long as you're not like uh, like a like a toucan Sam, where like it comes around the corner an but then, hour before. But they must do. feel nice when you have like a nice hot nose, like swipe your nose like a credit, credit card. card, and you're just like he's eating your ass, and then just like you know. Up on the top, yeah. Up on the top. I do tickle. a kegel, but it's inside. It's right, like you know, especially like, like a nice strong nose and all that stuff. And there's like <laughs> some nose hairs in there, you know. Yes, like... yes. No. No, no, no. I'm sure it's really nice in person. Yeah. You tag it. Three, your next, three. your last bit? I'm trying to do my best, obviously, not to say alien um, or event horizon. I feel like I've Never talked about it. that quite a bit. <laughs> but I haven't seen event horizon. I haven't seen event horizon. That's, that's with my, my hero. Which Sam one? Neil. Sam Neil. Oh, um, Sam Neil, yes. I want to meet him so bad. You will. <laughs> okay. Would you consider, just because of how violent it was, Terminator? Oh, yeah, that's sure. science fiction. Yeah, it's about the space I mean, and the past and whatnot. I mean, that I, I think Terminator 1 and 2 were fantastic. I I mean, my God. Um, what? what? No, it's not. My, no, two is my favorite, but I love three as well. Oh. The first three are my favorites. I don't. Everything after that, I'm like. <laughs> oh, I quite like Salvation. With Christian Bale. I thought it was. That yeah. one wasn't too bad, but yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't the hugest fan of three, um, but I will say like one and two, I think are top tier. I think some of the oh, best yeah, action definitely. sequences. I think there's some just gnarly deaths, and I think just uh, Robert Patrick though. Uh, was it T1000? Mm hmm. Yeah. I had the biggest crush on him. The T1000 was terrifying. Yes. I got to show you Terminator 3. Yeah. That's going to that that be the one. The, the Terminatrix? Oh, yeah. No, that's why he'll like it, but it's still not uh, a good movie. Yeah, yeah. He's going to. He's going to like that one. Yeah, you'll like it. I'll be the judge of that. You will. I will. Uh, <laughs> 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 but yeah, I would say yeah. those. Like those two movies are fantastic. I think they still hold up. And yep. yeah. And as a follow up to our last episode, uh, one of the most iconic scores ever the Terminator theme song. Sucking on my titties like you wanted me, calling me all the time. Like, check out my Christy Bell. Here he goes. Here Nick, he goes. Why do you become so unprofessional when you're next to David? Like, usually you're the one telling all of us off. But somehow, because he's in the room with you, you've turned into an absolute fucking monster. <laughs> it's just the fumes from my shit. Like when I fart, it's just like the fumes start taking over and it's just like carbon monoxide poisoning. And it's just like, mm, and it's just like, it's all the puppets. Yeah. And it just changes into like his, yeah. Understandable. Yeah. I think anyone would get gassed out by you when they're in the room. Well, well call 911. I'm being held kept. <laughs> 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 Help me. <laughs> Tayful, just hateful. I give all my I give all my love, I give my heart and soul, and I just get back dust. 
at his age. That's all that's there. Uh, so for my last pick, I am going to go with 2017's Life. Um, and Life of Pi? By... Oh. Sure. Um, no, Life. Yeah, it's a great Sorry. movie, actually. <laughs> it is a good movie, yes, but yeah. you know, this is sci-fi. Um, mm-hmm. This is the one starring Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal, oh. and Rebecca Ferguson, Queen. Oh, yeah, um, this one. Yeah. Um, you, Hi there. honestly... When people when this came out and people were like, "How is this not a Venom origin story?" Um, fully agree. It is literally the story of how of Venom, um, but somehow it's not. Um, it is about a black goo that kills people in space. Ooh, kind of like that. Um, kind of like the one from. Oh, oh, not freak show. Um, oh, oh my god, oh, uh, oh, creep show, creep too. show, freak show on the raft. Oh, the raft. The raft. Oh, it's such a great sequence. What? That scene, well, the scene for oh. me, it was, lady, lady. That, uh, oh my God, just the thought of somebody following Is me. Is that like, the Native American sense? No, no, that's the one that she, the hit and run, that she, the guy's just following her. And then he gets to her in her garage and they find her dead in her garage. I don't like that one. That's the one that I don't like. Have you, you, re- you guys remember this one or no? Creep Show 2? Creep Show 2, the one of the woman that she hits the guy and he starts following her wherever she goes. I, don't even know what was. I haven't seen that one in a while, so maybe I it's my favorite one. one. Is the one that I always like think of when I think of that, and the one of the of the Indian chief and the yeah, yeah, yeah. indigenous. Yes, <laughs> master of suspense. Um, yeah. I don't know why I I expect <laughs> you to if you've ever seen that. Liam might know him in my uh, IMHO. Do you watch them in my eyes? They, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I the fully drivers, sometimes yeah. expect when Nick and David are sitting together or next to each other with their the like, can I see her? And, you know that little sequence that those two do, and they like, oh, never mind. It's funny. It's like they're I know what the show is. I don't really watch it though. Oh, and they break, and all of a sudden, like, can I see you back here? And they have like this private conversation, and they'll keep like leaning back and back until, oh, never. I would just like to say that I feel oh, very Wait, blessed in life to have met all of you and you bring me such joy and you take up two of my Saturdays a month. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, I think you're great. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, he should write for Hallmark. It's just like, I don't, you know. It's... Don't Roses are red, violets are blue. They're going to need dental <laughs> records to identify you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's my dream, oh my somebody God. just to send me some shit like that. Wait, what's the other one? The journey of love is an arduous trek. My love grows for you as you bleed from your neck. Wait, what's the one that you are where you eat? Um, It's the... Oh, f***. Oh, so hold on. Rotten, wait, your co- rotten or something. Uh, you are... Wait. But the fact that she just ate that Valentine, shit. Valentine, you are what you eat. Um... Cause she just put that shit in her mouth. She was she didn't even know who the f- it was from. Yeah, would you down. question would you guys like if you got food from in the mail from somebody you didn't know, would you just no, be sitting no. here like no. I'm gonna take it? I don't bite. even no. I don't even uh-huh. eat the food no. from cone goods, Yuzaka. Tis a well known uh, fact that beauty is skin deep. deep. Savor the taste you are, which well, you, you eat. eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh absolutely not. I would not have done that. That is disgusting. We were just talking about this the other day. Like we were talking about like people who sell food on the on like the off ramps and shit. Absolutely not. Right time where I got I got like food poisoning from eating an empanada from like the streets, like all that grease from like probably like three weeks ago and shit, just like cooking all that. Oh my god, I was oh. throwing up so much. I literally looked like Bobby from Scary Movie. I was just like, this is just sad. This is just sad. I was on that. I was on that toilet like just. I was like, I was looking into the hole like that toilet. I was like, Jesus. But yeah, you kill me now. <laughs> that's my snazzy little clown life that I live. That's, you know, that's the... you're gonna live. That is our picks for the week. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope if you haven't seen them, you will go and watch some of our picks. Thank you for joining us today. I have been Liam. That has been David and Nick, and that has been Yutaka. Comment down below what you, what would you recommend? Please do so. Remember, subscribe to the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are not. Like the video, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Um. Oh, sorry, X um, at the Horror Hour TV. You can follow each of us at our little ads, and obviously, you can go to our, their own channels. So, thank you for joining us today. Goodbye. And a Patreon and a Patreon. Oh, and we also have a Patreon if you would yeah. like to. We have an after hours where 
obviously things don't get muted. So if there was anything that you wanted <laughs> in here today, it's so dirty and filthy. Go up. Mm. It's dirty. You have been listening to the horror hour. See you next time.